Sunlight begins to fade now And I feel like I'm losing time But I don't know how I'm here The sunlight has turned to grey And I feel like I'm losing love again I don't know how I'm here I could feel your heart beat I could feel somewhere you're looking down I could feel your heart beat I could feel somewhere you're looking down Cause it's you I'm loving And it's you I know now we're getting older The world we built is slipping through our fingers We're running out of time But you are the one I've chosen And I won't lay still Live and live behind Imprisoned by this love
I did it! Yay! Hi everyone! How are you? Welcome! Thank you all for coming. At least I think I did it. How do I sound? Am I good? Is the music good? All that jazz? Hi! I did it! Yeah! Where's my camera? It's over there. Mm. I moved everything. I got my new desk all set up and new computer and all that jazz and everything's different. It's fine. Yeah. A little intimidated. That's fair. I mean, I get it. I was intimidated way back when. I mean, to be fair, I'm still intimidated sometimes, so it's a whole thing. It's all right. You, you got this. You can do it. But today we're going to paint some metal. Metal. Metal non-metallic metal non-metal metallic I don't know I don't know the right order to put those words in <gasps> found familiars here hello welcome how's it going metal not metal exactly just put it in quotes metal metal which is a really cool thing so um it's probably I think me personally it's the most difficult thing to learn um, from a painting aspect uh, it's something I still struggle with and have, I, I mean I, I do it a lot on just about every model that I have um, but it's hard it's difficult it's a pain so I'll teach you my methods or try to and attempt um, hopefully it'll go well we'll see <gasps> Kayla is here a whole year oh my goodness almost at least we got another month left we'll get there I'm sure yeah um yeah so I guess to, to jump into it um, 
non-metallic metal is the theory of using colors to give a look of metallic it's something that's been done in art since like forever from pottery to like old paintings and all of that jazz it's really cool it's a fun concept <gasps> dice fix hi hello welcome um but something that helped me out that i'm gonna kind of talk you through is um, looking at metal itself was really helpful so I have some I have some some metal things here that I brought that we'll look at um, just to kind of see the the concept of it I know you've been requesting this forever you don't have anything metal to paint just paint whatever you want yeah it'll be great fun oh hey Welcome, welcome everybody. Call me Kramer is here. Um, so something to keep in mind for metal. Yeah, add armor to the pixie. You can make like a metal leaf or something. It'll be cool. The camera's over here now, not over here anymore. I'll figure it out sometime this year, maybe. We'll see. Um, but something cool that metal does is metal reflects light. And that's what makes it look metallic. Hey. Look at me, I'm still confused about cameras. So with silver, the thing that I find the hardest is the fact that it not only reflects light, but because of the color of it, it reflects its surrounding too. So you can kind of see like the, I can't get a good angle on it, but you can see the color of things that are surrounding, kind of reflecting into the light. It's real weird. It's real crazy. But something like gold, or I guess this is technically brass, but it doesn't quite have that same effect. But you still have your your buildup from a dark, yeah, right here, a, a dark to the highlight. And it, it, it builds up gradually, and then you have a harsh highlight and a harsh darkness. And you can kind of see that throughout here too is you've got that bright spot right next to dark spots and that's really the key factor here is creating that that dark and that light and putting it close it makes it look shiny and then you have something that's more tarnished doesn't quite have that same reflecting power to it so it it's more gradual gradual um, and it builds up slower and it, it's not quite as harsh on that top light, like something shiny like this. And the same thing for like looking at like a tarnished brass versus a polished one. It's just not quite as bright. It's cool, it's cool. Metal's neat, it does neat things. But doing steel and such, that's that's where my problem is. I can do gold pretty well, which that's what we'll start with. We'll start with some gold, and then we'll work up from there. Yeah, this ring, this ring is badass. Look at this thing. Raw. It's huge. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And the watch is good too. It's true. I love this watch. It's my Bolivar. This is from Jeff Thomas. Yeah. I won this in a giveaway. It's really fancy. It's huge. Yeah, I know, right? That's a good punching ring. Exactly. And the teeth are really sharp, too. Ooh. Get somebody. Something looks different here. What well, looks different? Other than me not knowing where my camera is. Usually it's over here. But now it's over here. I don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? Is it otherwise? Welcome, Liz. Thanks for coming. This camera? Or this camera? Well, I guess both of them. They're both different now. But we're going to be painting this guy today. I'm excited for him. So I think for him, I want to do the helmet gold. And he's got this like uh, bracer. I want to do that gold as well. And then I'm going to work on the sword. I think we'll do steel sword 
here and maybe like a gold backplate. Um, and then he's got these uh, shoulder pads and these shin pads, but I think we could do like a cool metallic there as well. Maybe something different, different kind of color. And he's got some, some chain on him too. Chain? I don't know. Um, and we'll do these in sort of a uh, more war worn steel. I don't know. We'll play it by ear. It'll be great. Work has melted your brain. It's been an intense week, so I hear. Well, I'm glad you decided to spend your real life evening here with us. It could have been anywhere in the world. Is anyone painting along tonight? Is anyone painting? I just want to be a little um, cognizant of my speaking. Oh my gosh, the Diablo 4 cinematics. Yes, yes. Where's my camera? Yes. Yes. I'm a huge Diablo fan. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Concept, yes. Along, no. Jess is painting. Yay. Okay, cool. I just, yeah. I want to be aware so that if somebody's following along, that I'm not rushing around like I do because I tend to paint really fast so I'll try to slow down hello welcome so again these are my methods for doing non-metallic metal non-metal metallic um, and a hydrate I will hydrate are they right no Probably not. They might not even be the best for you, but they work for me. They work pretty well right now. So I'm pretty pleased with them at least. But I generally work with four colors like this. So I have my dark for my shadows, my midtones, my light colors, and then the, the shine. The shine. So for this, I'm using a. Um, I'm using my monument paint. So I've got my dark golden brown, my golden brown, my golden yellow, and ivory. But really, you could use any sort of brown, brownish, yellowish, yellow, and then a light. Either a white or kind of a really light beige or anything like that. Um, skin tones can work really well for these two colors as well, I have found. But yeah, so I'm going to start with my dark. And I'm just going to paint the whole thing. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Excuse me. And I'm not so worried about keeping it clean right now. At least not for this base layer. Um, I tend to try and try again when it comes to painting metallics. Because it never quite seems to work right at first and that's kind of the beauty of paint is that you can just paint over it so while we do this how is everyone this evening how are you how was your day did you have a nice day my internet went out today at work so I wasn't able to get all of the things done today, which is very, uh, blah. It's annoying. It's annoying. Buff boy. This is the Storm Giant from WizKids. It's a really cool model. It's, uh, probably one of my favorite renditions of the Storm Giants which I'm a huge fan of Giants anyway in gaming. So I'm a little biased there. Paint 
paint, 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 paint. Too much work is annoying. Work, work, work. It's a whole thing. The Marietta car robbers hit my street last night. Oh no! Well, at least there's no uh, no real damage. That happened around here not too long ago, but my car is hidden away inside of a lockbox, so they can't really get to it. Not that there's anything worth anything in there, but... <laughs> it's, it's good to say hi to uh, Streamlabs, you know? Hi, Starback. Almost 60. I think it was 70, 75 here today. It was real nice. I had the windows open. All the cats were in the windows yelling at everybody walking down the street. It was great fun. <laughs> and rain. I love the rain. I'm glad the weather is better there, Stacy, so that, you know, all that stuff in Texas is nuts. Or was, I guess. I don't know if it still is. <laughs> Staring over the shoulder. Please don't stare over my shoulder while I paint. Just watch the camera. It's all good. Ugh. All right. So we have our base color, which is a dark brown, which is pretty sweet, right? Yeah. Something like that. But we'll turn it into a shiny gold. But we're going to let it dry first. And then we'll hit it with some some of these midtones and highlight colors. Um, one of the things that I do is I do I do mix an in-between for each color and definitely work my way up. Liz, your let it dry thing is so good. Maybe I should get some real-time emotes now. Maybe that'll be a thing I should do eventually. <gasps> Parent-teacher conference. Well, enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. I very, very much appreciate it. Enjoy the conference. I hope it goes well. It was good to see you here. Have a good evening. Krista does do some really great work. So, maybe that'll be in my near future. Bye. Mix these colors, get an in-between color. There we go. That's good. Right? Yeah. All right. So I want to find out where the light's going to be so that I can really focus on that. So, I mean, this dude, right? So he's standing like this. I kind of want the light to come down at an angle, kind of hit right here. So I'm just going to kind of poke and sketch out where I want these highlights to be. And can I hit this top right there? And I'm not trying to go all the way down to cover all of the darker brown because I, I want to keep that contrast. And then we'll get some on this side too. I'm leaving a, a bit of a larger space between his mohawk thing? I don't know. Ca 
kind of pokey, says. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, this is how I paint. I'm, I'm a very technical painter. It's a whole thing. Fun fact, I have no idea what I'm doing. He's got a bit of a bend, kind of, his helmet kind of bells out down at the bottom. So I want to try and get some of this down bit and leave, leave some space in the center. Oh, uh, certificates. If somebody wants to make certificates, go for it. I'll sign them all. I'll sign them in a pretty pen. I'll mail them out. It'll be a whole thing. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, make certificates. I'll print them and sign them and mail them to people. Sure. Sure. I did, actually. Well, that's not... Mm, that's only kind of true. You two have swords, it's dangerous. Meg is here. Hello, Meg. Welcome. So, um, something I do while I'm painting non metallic metal is I use some glazing concepts uh, and I do a lot of wet blending. So, is anyone not familiar and or comfortable with that? A new setup, yeah. Wet blending is a pain in the ass until you get it and then it just kind of works out. <laughs> so the the concept of wet blending is blending two different paints together while they are still wet um, I use it a lot in just about all of my painting and yeah it's 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 handy it's handy But with wet blending, you can get smoother gradients of color, um, and you're able to blend the two paints together without having to make different colors. I enjoy wet blending because I don't have to let it dry, and I can continue to touch it. Yes, ombre. Right. I did it for, um, I'm working on this model right now, but I did it for her hair. So, kind of going from the black to the teal, I was able to get that, that blend in there. The back looks better than the front, but we'll fix that up later. Oh yeah, her jacket. Her jacket's real damn cool. Yeah. So, wet blending. Now I'm going to go into my mid-tone. So I've got my dark in there the mix of dark and mid and now I'm going in with the mid and I'm doing the same thing that I did um, just kind of poking it sketching out where I want these places and I want it to be smaller than my um, uh, that kind of in-between color was because I want to bring out that light The goal here is really building up colors. It's absolutely witchcraft. It's true. And 
right now the the cleanliness isn't quite mattering yet we're almost getting there though and we'll clean up a lot of this sketching soon but I think it, it depends on how shiny we want his helmet to be which I feel like it should be fairly shiny so I definitely want to get these edges the edges are your most important things when it comes to metal and focusing on your light source <laughs> so this is two colors right now a bird <gasps> dragon jam hello the big challenge has ended for dragon points dragon points channel points cool is that something I need to change something I need to do where's my camera again it's over here hello hello friends maybe I should put it back over here and then I would remember that it's on the other side and I'd be all kind of confused again <sighs> can't add points because it ended okay well I can try and fix it I don't want them to be dragon points they're butt points because butts. Exactly. Yeah. Butts. <laughs> this is the best. Butts. All right. So now we're going to go in with two cameras no that's too much no way now we're gonna mix these two colors together our yellow and our other brighter brownish yellow there we go yeah now this is when it kind of matters being clean because this really gives it that gold look and I want to get close to this edge because the contrast of colors is, is the important part, kind of like we talked about before. It gives it that, that metal look. It gives it that, that feel. I'm going down here and I want to bring it around. Make it round out. Because it's his head, right? Head's around or something. I'm gonna get the edge. And we're gonna have to switch brushes here soon. What brush am I using? I'm using a two. So it's real big. Get the highlight over here on this side of his face. And this side's going to be a little bit darker because of where the light's hitting, so I'm not so worried about having too much highlight on this side. Mm, so what I'm learning here is that non-metal metallic, non-metallic metal, are only possible when you are a warlock of light and have a deep understanding of source. I pretty much <laughs> I I don't think that it's really so much being a warlock because you don't necessarily have to like give up a piece of you. But magic helps. But understanding light and being aware and cognizant of where it's coming from is really important. Um, so I think one of the things that I do personally is, is I have a light right here. It's just a, I don't know, a, a desk light right here. Um, but I will hold my model where I want it to be and where I want the light source to hit. So for this guy, it's, it's pretty much just like this. I have him kind of at an angle, but it's a little difficult to see. Um, so just like this. So I'm looking at where the light is really hitting him and where the shadows are. So I can see that like 
all the shadows and kind of where those those high spots of light are touching him and I can I can sketch around that and use that to my advantage to be able to really focus in on those light points using your resources but it is something that that comes with time and somebody asked me the other day they were like what is your biggest advice for painting miniatures and it's paint more paint more and paint often because the thing adds ah, a bug <sighs> the things that really matter that really make you a quote-unquote better painter it's all brush control and paint consistency that's it <gasps> Maya is here hello Maya Once you can understand how to use a brush to do what it is you want and how to manipulate the paint to act the way you want it to, I mean, that's, that's the turning point in painting. And that's really hard, and it's really hard to do. But it all just, it just comes with time and energy and want. I'm taking my mid-tone paint again, but, and I'm going to kind of try and blend out some of these, these rougher, sharper edges here. So now I'm going to build back down. I'm building back down to the base color to soften out those these transitions I just put water on my brush and I'm just kind of poking at the paint um, and this takes away that hard edge so that when it dries it's slightly more mixed And <laughs> buttercup. Again, a lot of this is trial and error and really learning how to get your contrast. Your contrast is your biggest, biggest thing here. So now I'm going to take some water. I have a very wet brush and I'm putting it on my palette and I'm taking the dark color and I'm mixing it into it so that I'm creating a glaze with that. It's, um, oh my gosh, Kayla, thank you for the gift sub. Um, a glaze is thin down paint that's not quite as thin as a wash and definitely not as thick as straight out of the bottle. So you can kind of see how it's, how it's dragging there. So I want it kind of this consistency. And another one, Kayla, cheesums. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> cheesums, I know, I'm adorable. It's a whole thing, it's a problem. I kind of forgot about this side of the helmet. I guess we should paint that next. That's all right. We'll focus on this side for right now. One thing at a time, right? They're really cool little icon things. Are any of these explanations helpful? I'm just kind of talking through my mental process here which isn't always coherent because hello brain okay cool so now I have my yellow 
and I'm hitting these points. And the cool thing about yellow, and why I hate yellow paint, is that it's really translucent, so it's hard to get a really consistently thick layer on it. So it works out really well for this. <laughs> Again, I'm going to smooth out those edges. Push some of this paint up here to this fold. Yeah, like that. Now we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna start some paint. Oh no! There's a command for that. Dry? I think. I think. <gasps> I did it. I'm so pleased with myself. I have commands now. Staring at a blank canvas. I think that's the hardest part about canvas painting for me is that, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. You know what else is very empty? Space. Space. Space is fun. Space mermaids! Oh my gosh. Knuckle cracking? Did I crack my knuckles? It's possible. I do it subconsciously a lot. Space mermaids. Space mermaids! I did. Got it. Got it. Are you dry yet? <laughs> it was a good happy crunch. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. But also, I think it's dry. So, <laughs> all right. I have my little brush now. This is my my double zero. So I'm taking my ivory that I have, which I guess you could use ivory white, whatever, just a bright color. And because of my light, so I'm paying attention to my light again. Right, so it's coming down from this angle. I use small brushes, it's true. I'm gonna hit this edge right here, just that one. And then this one right here. And this. And I wanna leave some space in between it, right? And think of where light hits, so. I'm going to do the edge of his mohawk. Plume, apparently, but I like mohawk better. And this front bit right there. Pew, pew. And then I want to put a bright spot right there. That's a little big, but that's okay. We could fix that in post. And then I want to do one right here and I'm just looking at where the lights hitting directly so it's 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 coming down from right here right and it's a pretty big light so we got this spot which this is our main highlight and then kind of where it's leaking over so just just the high points and only the high points that's where you want the most the most contrast right there here next to his face I want to get the edge I want to keep some of that yellow okay now that's that's probably it for my my hard light and then I'm gonna blend into it 
just the edges. This is with my yellow. I'm going to get this corner right here. Probably some of that. And then splish splash. Can you hear it from all the way over there? Sure can. Cool. All right. Yes. Good, good, good. All right. And I'm taking my dark color again. And I'm going to hit this line just to get that shadow back in there and that crease. I've come to appreciate more and more lining my edges lately. It really helps kind of bring out that that pop. But again, brush control is important here. And it takes time. Having these dark contrasts, so we have our dark color right here, right? And then our, our light color is right up next to it. That's really what makes the metallic look for it. If we went too close to it or we didn't have that real hard contrast, we would lose a lot of that kind of gold appearing color. Now I'm just kind of going back in and going to blend out some of these spots, even up a little, some of these lines, bring it up a little bit closer to the mohawk. I don't use that little brush anymore. I see the stretch. I will get there. I'm bringing in some of my yellow into my medium tannish color. At least someone's part of the can't type. All right, so look at that. that. Is our gold helmet? Camera? Focus. 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 I don't know how cameras work tonight. All right. <laughs> I there's days where you just can't paint. I get that. So yeah, that's our helmet. We didn't really do anything on the other side, so we'll do that kind of go through the methods again um, but yeah it's building up colors from a base it's not much different than um, painting skin tones you're just using different colors but I, I think that's kind of one of the the turning points for me was realizing that it's really not that much different than blending skin. It's a bit of a tighter blend, but it's really not that much different. You can do it, I know you can. Alright, let's do the other side of the helmet. Quit poking at that, that's fine. Starting in my mid-tones. 
I do not believe that it's like painting skin. What is confusing about it? Genuinely curious, genuine question. What is confusing about it? What can I try and speak to, to kind of alleviate some of that confusion and kind of take away some of that like, ah, big scary monster. As I hold a big scary monster. Emphasis on the big. Two against one, I can take you both at the same time, it's fine. It doesn't do the thing. So what? Mm, okay, I get that. It doesn't do the thing. And getting it to do the thing is difficult. So this, I'll do this side just straight color, right? So we had our low. And this is without the wet blending. This will be without the, the glazing. I know the thing. I tried the thing. The thing doesn't appear. It. It's not something that's just going to happen. Which I, I know you know. And we're all artists here, right? Like, it all takes time and practice and whatever. Um, and we just got to get there and it's hard. It's hard getting there. Now I've got my medium and my high. Oh, I should have done my medium. I didn't do my medium. I'm going to do that. All right, now just the medium. Yeah, it's 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 practice and I'm still practicing and it's still hard. Gold's not so hard because I've got the concept down pretty well, I think, I feel. I'm more or less pleased with it when I do it. Um Steel though? Yeah, there will probably be cursing. So if there are children in the room they're gonna hear it eventually. Alright, now I've got my my two mix. Somehow equating it to skin tone doesn't work for me. I'm okay. That's fair. It is very soft, and the the metallic is not. It is not as soft. It is hard, and you need those those hard lines and those hard those hard colors because like without focus babies you have the this depth and then you have that highlight and that's really what makes the difference between skin and high yeah, you're not, it's not worrying about the soft layers. It's, it's that hard layer. You need that bright, you need that pop. You need them next to each other because without the bright being next to the dark, you don't get that contrast. Did I already do this layer? I don't know. We'll do it again. So for this, I guess for this part, it's not so much, it's not so different. Um, I mean, maybe it's also how I paint skin, but for for this transition going from my shadow to my light, 
Like, it's not that hard. It's pretty light, it's pretty soft. But then after this step, right? So I've got my dark and my medium and my mid, mid high, I don't know. And then once I go into my yellow color, which is really the main color that I'm looking at, that's when I'm not so worried about the softness of it. And I want that, that hardness to it. Because that's what makes the color and that's what makes that difference. Yeah, exactly. That's why that's why steel is difficult because steel is reflective. That's why I hate it. We're not friends. Yep. <laughs> practice, practice, practice. It's good for you. I'm not working on these highlights. And I, I think something else to take note, like I've said before, and will continue to say, these are the methods that have worked for me. Work, work, quote unquote. Um, they get decent enough results that I'm not so mad about it. Um, so what works for you or what makes it click in your brain is probably much different than what works for my brain. Now I'm blending. So I think Jess was painting, right? I saw that model that you posted before. How is yours coming along? Hands are difficult. It's true. It's the whole thing. Sometimes I wish I'd stuck with my drawing, but this is good. <laughs> so I, you know, that's okay too. It's a start. It's something. I think what really makes it look metallic is those, those high contrast colors. So we've got our highlight. And doing an edge highlight in white will make a big difference. And then doing your lining.
It'll be better each time. Exactly. My first attempt at it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. Sometimes my attempts now are even still terrible. Like, it is a learning process and it continues to evolve. And that's kind of half the fun of it, right? Ooh, ever consider taking your own advice? Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, we have a gold helmet. Yeah, eh, eh. Turned out pretty alright. And the color got a little weird right here, but it's fine. Right there, right there. Got weird right there. There's like a hole in it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh oh. I don't know what's happening, but I'm glad I'm not a part of it. I'm going to work on his bracer next. And very much as before. Of course, all my paints all mixed up together. Because I'm a heathen on my palette. I'm going to hit this dark bit. Oh, good god. So. Hold on. Oh no! Oh well. This primer. I hate it. I think this would be a fun model to work on uh, OSL with. If that's something else we want to talk about at some point. Probably not tonight. OSL uh, object source lighting. It is the concept of a um, an object being a light source. So in this case, the lighting bolt being real bright and such, and then having the uh, skin, gold, metal, and such kind of reacting to that. do with the large okay then we'll, we'll have to do it sometime soon then so that we can paint those because those are going to be cool I'm excited for the large model I'm letting this dry We do have fair, sad, mer, sad fairy tale. Send you Lucy. We're letting it dry. We're letting it dry. Try.
Oh, for those in the know of that one special project I did not too long ago, it has been sent off and should arrive on Friday, and I'm very looking forward to it. Yes. Yes. I'm really proud of that because, yeah, I took a bunch of pictures of it. And the pictures came out really well and I want to share them. But I'm not going to share them and spoil the surprise because I think it'll be a good surprise. I think it will. You're still hoping, right? Yes. A surprise. Yeah. It's a good one, too. I think. I'm proud of myself for it. All right. Are you dry yet? No. So does anyone have anything cool coming up this week? Anything fun? Doing anything exciting? Interesting? Um, yeah. Paint stream tomorrow. <gasps> That'll be cool. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Why is it going to be terrible? Oh, watercoloring. <gasps> that is not true. You can watercolor. And for those interested, I have this. I have this. You can check out Kayla's stream on Thursday, tomorrow. You can click on that link, give her a follow, and check out some awesome watering colors. And the camera's over here, not over here. Still not dry. It's not. It's not working out well for me at all. Over here. Maybe if I take down this thing, I'll stop looking over there. No, patience is not my strong suit, which I'm pretty sure was already a known. A little desk fan. Yeah, that's that's what I need. That's exactly what I need. A little desk fan. Just gonna tinker with this thing instead. Oh, next week! Something fun for me that I'm excited about that I'm doing. Next week I'm doing my first video game stream. So I will be on this channel playing a video game on stream for the first time. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. I'm playing Other Side, um, which is a tactics turn based um, strategy sort of game. It is stunning. It is a beautiful game, and I'm really enjoying it. I uh, played a little bit of it. I say a little bit of it. I played like, you know, 12 hours of it the other day. Um, just to kind of get the feel of it and see what it is that I'm really digging into. Um, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think it'll be fun to watch. It's going to be fun to play. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but I'm definitely going to have to put up some warnings because it has some pretty, uh, pretty creepy things kind of going on and has some kind of triggering situations. Um, it is spooky. But it's going to be awesome. I'm excited. Yeah. But that is that is next week, not this week. <gasps> it's dry. <gasps> the mods will be there. I guess that's good. Obviously, tonight is Wednesday. Tonight is Wednesday, right? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. 
Anyway, I'm taking my base color plus mid-tone. I'm calling it mid-tone now. Officially official. Um, and just hitting this part of it. I'm not going to worry about the back. I'm just going to worry about this front part. Now I'm going to take my mid-tone. A bit more than that. Yeah. Spread it out a bit. Pew. Hitting those little rappy bits. Another layer of the midtone, just to brighten it up a touch, because that bottom layer was wet, because we are wet blending. And then doing the same over here. Back for anyone. Clean the brush. Splish splash. So it's not much right now. But then when you start adding in these yellow bits, that's really what makes it gold. This just kind of looks really weird beige otherwise. It's a little too wet, so probably gonna let it dry after this. I'll get again. Let it dry. That's okay. Let's prep our sword. No, no, let's wait. We'll do it all in one go. We don't have to paint all the things, right? We could take our time. Because I'm patient. so much <laughs> patience patience I am not <sighs> it's something I do not have gonna do some shadow lines it's fine it's fine I'm not patient it's a whole thing. Everyone knows this. This is not an unknown. This is the truth. Holding back for anyone. Holding on forever. Soften this, uh, this transition here. I'm going with the yellow. Now that it's dry-ish, something to keep in mind with doing surfaces like this that have multiple layers on it um, is to keep your highlights together. So, because I have my my highlights starting right here, right? Oh, I am in the frame. Okay. I want to keep 
my other highlights close to that so that it looks more natural. Ish, yes, that is what I said. of my yellow and my ivory again following the highlight I don't want this to be quite as wide as the other highlight was with just the yellow now we'll go in with our ivory for that bright spot Obviously, this guy takes time to shine his armor. Yeah. I think that turned out slightly better than the helmet, but hey. Kind of smooth that out just a bit. We'll go in with a stronger highlight right down the center. There we go. I'm gonna hit the tops of some of these over here. Just to kind of pull that shine through. Yeah. Alright, um I think, yeah. I'm going to take a short break, um, clean out my water, clean up my space a wee bit, and then we'll work on the steel. And we'll start with Mm, we'll start with the mail first, and then we'll do the sword. Because I'm dreading the sword most. So we can do that last. It'll be a great way to go out. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back. Change your water. Get up. Stretch. Do something else for a while. Don't stare at a screen for a bit. I'll see you back here soon.
I had pizza today. It was super tasty. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah. Did everybody get a chance to get up and stretch and move and change your water? All that good stuff. Oreos? Oh, man. I should have gotten Oreos. Pizza's good. Pizza and Pepsi. Heck yeah. I had Pepsi too. And pizza. It's a good life. And ate some food. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's important to eat and to stay hydrated. And to eat Oreos. All right, so I'm going to flip this round. Nero, Nero, ow, ow, Nero. Yeah. 
Ooh, some cats. I locked all my cats out because they are intense today. So I put all the strings out of in here somewhere that they can obtain them by themselves. <laughs> Poor, yeah, sure. All right. Steel, yay, woo. <coughs> poor Sam, poor Sam, my butt. No, there's no poor Sam. <gasps> five, five cats. I need more cats. I don't need more cats. I have enough cats. I have so many cats. I have three. <sighs> Three cats is a good number. It's true. I don't need any more cats. Uh, I love my kitties. All right. Steel time. Yay. Woohoo. We got this, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have dark gray, dark blue, light gray, and white. Yay! So first, I want to take my dark gray, and I'm going to cover everything with it. Just like I did with the dark of the other one. Just be sure to get in all those bits. Obviously, I'm trying, starting with the chain stuff first, which I think we had talked about previously. Looks like he's got a bit up there. We're just going to leave that gray and we'll forget about it. It's fine. All right. New cat after you move. That's so exciting. Cats are the best. Boop, 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 boop. Cover all the area. Boop, 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 boop. Try and get in all these little crevices. Totally destroy the end of my brush. It's cool, it's cool. It's fine, it's good. Just clumping paint on I'm like a heathen. It's gonna take forever to dry and I'm gonna be mad about it. Welcome to painting with me. What brushes am I using tonight? I have my um, Monument Igniter. I have my two that I'm using as my basing brush. Um, and I also have my Artist Opus brushes. Um, I have my one out that I've been using for details. So my good brushes and then my I just want to put paint onto the thing brush I just drank some water stream lamps Important to stay hydrated. Make 
sure you get all those little spaces. Don't forget anything. Alright, take out any clumps. Any little puddles that I've left behind. pretty good so predicament with this right so we chose our light source before and it's coming down from like over here right so with that trying to keep that in mind for these steel bits while still making them look metal but not making them too bright to where it looks kind of awkward with the lighting That was a fun challenge. So just to, for my own sanity, right, I'm taking my light gray and I'm going to kind of sketch out where I want highlights to be. So kind of looking for these high points I don't want all of them high lit, highlighted. Fun challenge, yeah. But just kind of the, the ones that I want to focus on. So I'm kind of picking and choosing from what I can see here. So I'm just hitting those edges. for the ones I can see. And then turning over here, you can see kind of I've left some of them out. So like I can't see this trunk right here or anything like that. But now also, I want to do the same thing to the back. Kind of where the light is coming from and then where I can see these scales. And I'm not really worried about the color or anything like that. I just trying to hit my points. Alright, I think that's good. Yeah. Fun challenge, exactly. I'm gonna use my little brush for this, but I'm gonna let this dry. Let it dry, let it dry. Doop. Oh gosh, darn it. Rada rada. Dry. Pew pew. Don't touch it, let it dry. Uh. Perfect. Perfect. Hello, Eris. I have no patience. This is something we've talked about throughout pretty much the entire stream, my lack of patience. I want it and I want it now. Because it's how I roll. I find it. Is that something one can find? I bet it's under a rock. <laughs> That's dry now. All right. Hmm. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are all wonderful, and I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, so I'm using blue um, as my midtone. This is a new thing for me. Um, something that was recommended by a friend as 
blue is something we recognize to be the color of the sky and things and such. So adding blue to metal to steel kind of helps it give a reflective value to the color without actually taking in consideration anything that is in the current field view of the metal itself. Does it work? I don't know. Does it look all right? Sure. So, yeah. So I'm mostly just hitting the inside of these scales. Not so worried about the outside, not so worried about keeping it clean, much like the uh, uh, our gold from before. Just kind of filling in some of the some of the space here. Care what they say, we won't stay here all day. Till it's over. Mm -hmm. All right, cool, neat, awesome. Now, I have some blue on my scales. Yes, that is why there are blues in the um this one H. knock everything over smash the non-metal metallic kit scale color i got this recently in hopes to use it for for this in particular session um i took the plastic off and i haven't actually opened it yet so i don't know I bet it's real good though. Now I'm going to make it in between color gray. I like scale color paints. I say, but I haven't really used them in a very long time. What? Well, too much hair is not a thing. So I've mixed my, my dark gray and my light gray to make a medium gray, I guess. Um, and I want to kind of hit in some of these. I should use my other brush. So I want to fill in the center and the edge. I want to leave in some of that blue I got my edge, I got my center, and I don't want to go to all of the edges. I want to leave a little bit of that dark gray and that blue. Gosh, my hiccups are terrible tonight. I'm sorry. So I can build up on this color. <laughs> oh goodness well I'm excited to see mermaid alright hit this edge hit the edge hit the edge hit the edge and fill the center which really kind of just looks like I'm painting over everything we've already painted which I mean I am but Those mix of colors will do a big difference. I'm trying to be cognizant of lighting 
and where light may leak out, where things may be seen, where shadows might be deeper, so that I can keep those spaces dark so I'm not pulling in any light where it doesn't really make sense because then it just kind of ruins the whole factor. Just be aware and keep in mind the light. This is true. You should get a professional to look at your leaking light. Looks like some gray scales. That's cool. Now, I'm going to take some more of my light gray, add it in, and we're just going to build up. Doing another one, another stretch, and a hydrate. You gotta use your butts. <laughs> there, I have stretched, I have hydrated. It has been a thing. I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Now, I'm using this other gray and I'm just heading, hitting the edges of these scales. Um, mostly in the center, not going all the way to the edges. <laughs> Yay, pain in the butt city. It's about time. All of my hoodies are drenched in paint. It's just how it is. Exactly, it's officially yours now. Nyeong, nyeong. I think I'm going to keep those scales dark back there. Maybe get that edge, and this right here. Leaky light, leaky light. Edge, 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 edge. I don't want to get all the ones in here because I want to keep some of them dark. Um, keep up with that that feel now I don't want to have to give a damn about you Here we go. It helps if you move it a bit sometimes, you know. Hmm. It's weird not using a handle. Give it a wiggle. Gold! Yay! Look at you! That's amazing. I'm so proud. Well done. Heck yeah.
Congratulations. All right. Now that we've hit these edges, uh, let's put some in the middles. This is going to take so long. Don't mind me, I'm just complaining about something that I said I would do. All right. Again, much like before, I don't want to fill in the entire center just a little bit. I'm almost doing like a C shape inside of each one. Just to get some light in there. Yeah, that was the last bit of my sentence as I was forgetting to speak as I focus on paint. It's almost starting to come together. Again, keeping in mind where my light is coming from, so I want it brighter on the left hand side than on the right, because that's where our light will leak over from, depending on the orientation of the scale, of course. Mm hmm all right that's cool let's go in with some straight light gray and see how this comes out I want to be careful with this because it's pretty bright so I don't want to oversaturate or make too thick of lines a little bit goes a long way here. Just trying to look at the outside edges and then we'll look at where we can add it to the center. Um, and if you did any sketching from before, those edges will be slightly lighter now that we've painted over them some. Um, and we can use that as a key of where we want to keep our highlights going. So I'm going to go a bit heavier with the highlights on the back. Only because I want to. I'm starting my highlight on this side and moving it towards the other side as the light's supposedly coming from over here. Boop, boop. Boop. Meep. Meep. Pew. Mm. I should probably stop making weird sound effects while I paint, huh? These dry pretty lighter than. I thought that they would. 
But anyway, let's add some to the um, to the centers. Again, following that C pattern, I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher on the inside shape just to create that contrast and that hard line that we talked about with the gold to really give it that that shiny look. I hope this is helpful for people. Watched a lot of videos on non metal metallic painting, and I feel like most of it's done from like a super high professional level, which is great. And I mean, yeah, that's where like we all want to get to, right? Those crazy high reflective surfaces, those perfect blends, that mirror smooth polish, but like, I'm not there right now. And that's not really helpful for me. Like I can't I can't control the paint in that way yet. I can't I mean, I'm just not quite there yet. So I gotta start somewhere. Yeah, they meant out on that's exactly what it is, is that it misses out on a lot of the starting processes. Which is, I mean, I don't know. It sucks. And it might not be the cleanest, it might not be mirror smooth, it might not be super high polish. But, it's a start. It's something. It's there, and that is damn cool, and that is a huge smudge. understand that I've I've been painting for what four or five years now like I've come a really long way and I generally have a decent idea about what I'm talking about generally usually but some of those videos like I just can't follow along like they're just on a whole different level and that's cool. Like, yeah, I'd love to be there. But I'm not there yet. So, little wins, little progress. As long as each one is better than the last, I'm happy. It's starting to look pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. All right. Now we're going to go in with our white. And we're going to see what we think. How we feel about it. Now it's too wet. There we go. All right, now I'm going to be very sparing with this white, and this will only go on the edges. This is our top highlight. It's 
So I'm putting it mostly in the center of our light gray highlight to give that shiny shine factor. And I'm not doing all of them. Just the ones that are out and about. So. Pew, pew. Our mermaid is green today. Oh, I like that. Hit that edge, pew pew, and shuffle and grapevine. Murder mermaids. Aren't all mermaids murder mermaids? Like, isn't that what they do? Is is your new D and D character a murmur murder mermaid? Mer mm. A murder mermaid? Oh, I shouldn't have done this in white. That's all right. We'll go over it in gray. I'm, I'm still going. I'm still doing it. I shouldn't be doing this. That's so cool. My mermaid has a weapon. <laughs> Murder mermaid books. Such wholesome con content here. Content. Good gosh. I can't talk tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Words are hard. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your understanding, your patience with me, and my unpatience with paint. All right, so I think I think that's pretty good. I, I'm I'm mostly content with that. How that looks. What do we think? I kept it dark and then it kind of lightens up on this side and you can kind of see how it's darker here and lighter on this side and focus babies there we go now why is there sighing in witchcraft that was okay yes thank you I should say right But now, we get to do the sword. Are we ready? Are we ready to do this? I think it'll be a little bit easier for what I'm thinking with... Heard? Uh, with the bends in it, because we can kind of follow the light and where our light source is. Yeah, it'll be great. It'll be fun, right? Cool, we're gonna cover the whole thing in gray again. Drench it. See, look at this primer, it's making it all like whooshy. Don't mind me, just bitching.
uh, easy is relative. You know, dragons are fun to paint, right? <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Maya, I'm sorry. I tried to get captions working. Um, they were not being my friend today. So, I'm going to have to try again for next week. There's music. It's just slight music. I probably turned it down too low. I'm always... I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Um... A whole stream to get set. What? Uh, I was saying something. Oh, I'm always paranoid about the music. That it's always too loud. So I end up turning it down. People are like, there's music on? Y yeah. I can hear it. I'm just going to sing along to it. It's cool. At least it's tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad for that. <laughs> Trying to get a solid base coat of gray on him. Mm -hmm. Come on, get that edge. That's right. You can do a paint. Work with me. So for this, we're definitely going to work on some blending. Um Yeah. And probably some other things, too. I don't know. I don't know. We'll do it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. Right? Right. How is... How are you situated? There we sword is hard to reach. Sweet. Yeah. All right. I think we have coverage. Cool. We're gonna let it dry. Don't touch it. Let it dry.
Haha, <laughs> look at that. My shirt? My space shirt. Nope, turn this way. This is my camera. Space. Is a good shirt. Yeah. Got it from our good friend Gnome. Who designed it. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's nice and comfy, and it fits well, and it's a good purple, and it's soft. Mm. Yeah. It's supposed to be. Yeah, it looks kind of blue, doesn't it? Looks navy. No, it's not. It's purple. It's supposed to be purple. Yeah. Or I'm just actually colorblind, and that's okay, too. All right. So here's what I want. I want to do a fade to light here. So it's going to go from dark to light. Cool, cool. do the same here fade to light here and then I think just for consistency sake we'll do another light fade here cool what do we think about that? You know, maybe I'll do two-tone light fade. So we'll fade to light here, and then we'll go dark, and then we'll go light again. <laughs> I agree. I hate painting blades. It is the worst. So I shouldn't use this brush. Because this is my good brush. So I'm going to use this one. All right. Get it wet. So I have the wet layer right there. And now I'm going to pull this into my dark layer. See? Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here. Got my light, and I'm going to pull it into my dark. Or I'm going to pull my dark into my light because there's not a lot of space there. Cool. Um, now we're just going to kind of blend these all together. Or I'm going to pull the paint off. Neat. Pat those edges down. I'm literally just pat, 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 pat. Just quick little soft pushes. Poke blend, that's what I call it. Just blending the colors together. Anymore. 
dark right there. I'm accepting souls right now, so uh, I think there's an application process. <laughs> Bonk be. Alright, I'm gonna build up this light just a bit over here. I'll do the same right there. I've flattened out my brush. And I want to try and smooth it out just a bit. And I want to try and pull it through the edge. Edge highlighting is your friend here. Yeah, that's pretty all right, right? It looks real shiny though. Let's let it dry. See how it see how it turns out. Dry. Should we do Should we do this side? This bottom side? Yeah, we should do the bottom side while the top side dries. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna put some wet, dark up here. You know what? Let's just do it all. Boom, 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 boom. Blender babies. some of the paint from the brush. Blend it out. I'm trying to be aware of my colors so that I get a pretty decently smooth blend. I think that came out pretty good, okay. There, this is almost dry, so I'm just kind of trying to smooth it a bit. I don't want it so shiny. Storms and all. Use my finger to push it around. There we go. I'm not mad about this. I think this needs to be a little bit brighter down here. Wiping off the paint again. 
and just pulling it up to pull up that fade. Wipe the paint, blend the blade, I need some dark. Ta-da! However, what makes it look more blade-like is we have to hit the other side, right? But we want to do the opposite. So we're going to put our highlight up top on this one, do our highlight in the middle on this one, and our highlight up top on this one. And this is just using the dark gray and the light gray. I'm starting on one end, and I'm just going all the way to the other end. Pulling that gradient. You're saying you don't get it, but what what exactly don't you understand? What what is the missing link there? I'm I'm genuinely asking so that if I can and if I can help explain it a little bit better, because I know sometimes I'm like, oh you just like put paint on the model and like boom, look, it's painted. So if I can avoid that, I would like to because I realize it's not exactly just that. It's gauging when and how much to load the brush each time only comes with the, yeah. I mean, it's true, it's true. I understand how to manipulate the paint that I'm using to be able to blend it the way that I do. <laughs> Well, I think, personally, the magic of non-metallic, whatever, of steel, of painting steel, really comes when we do the next bit. All right, so I'm mostly okay with these. <clears throat> we have our blobs. I'm just gonna kinda brush in these gouges and such. Just get some light in there too. We'll hit those in a minute. All right. Now I'm going to take my white. I should use my smaller brush. I have my one. see stream lapse and I've got the white on there right and I'm just gonna hit the edge 
I'm using the flat part of the brush. Yeah, and I'm doing the entire edge. Very gentle, just to get the side part, the blade, I guess. Because that's what this is called. This is called a blade. Sword. Do the same for the center using the side of the brush to gently gentle damn it across the edge just to break it up and then little gouges But what's up, Cuddlesome Kraken? How's it going? How are you? It's been a while. I'm going to hit these edges too. This little fold. Hey, check that out. There's our sword. <laughs> Chicky butt. And then if we want to get super fancy, we can add in some lines here. <laughs> uh, is it is it that is it that clear I need more souls so I can paint more blobs it's one blob per soul what kind of sandwich mm. 
Hmm. Fair. Sword. What do we think? Come out pretty all right. I think it came out pretty well. I'm going to do something similar on this side. Just to get something on there. I'm not too worried about how it actually looks, but... But, it'll be alright. Just to get some color over here. Get some blending. done this for a very long time that's all <laughs> well hey check that out maybe don't work on commissions and work on something for yourself you deserve that too you know What? Can't be spouting out things like that. As long as you are safe, it's all that matters. Moonlight. Oh no, <laughs> my nemesis. <laughs> Rude. Ah, uh, that's, mm, it's a low blow there. <laughs> it's true, though. It's true, though. Mm -hmm. No, nope, there's no glue tonight. I made sure of that. We did a bit on the inside of the blade too, um, just to kind of have that there. I don't like these lines. I think they look dumb. So I'm gonna paint over them. <laughs> There's no glue for now. It's true. I have learned my lesson of attempting to glue things on stream. It is not something that I will do again.
Quinn. Hi, Quinn. Painting is going well, I think. I'm attempting to share my knowledge of non-metallic metal painting. And I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. So, hey, painted a color metal. I have, I've painted a few color metals. Um, I say as I look around and I see a few of them, mostly green and teals. Um, but yeah, yeah, I've done that before. I like painting colored metals. I was thinking about doing um, a colored metal for his shoulders, inside of his shoulders, as well as his like shin guard things. So maybe we'll do that next. I'm pretty happy with that sword. Add some gold back here, though. Or at least the base for it. I, I probably won't paint the gold tonight. But. Oh, yeah, no, these are non toxic. These are uh, water based acrylic paints. I'm absolutely not going to die from this paint. Um. Very non-toxic. Yes, thank you, thank you. Eating that paint is yummy, it is true. I am a brush licker, a very proud brush licker. Thank you. Not all of it's that bad. Some of it's real bad, but. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, that paint is totally different. Um, yeah, no, this is all non-toxic paint, so I'm okay. Um, as far as licking paint brushes goes, I am okay. I don't think metallics are the worst, but, you know, the people have spoken. I think it really comes down to, to brand. But hey. What are you painting tonight? Okay, metallics are terrible. It's true. Okay, but these. These are the worst. Followed very closely by Chimera paint. Blah. Terrible. My tongue is kind of blue. It's fine. They do. They taste chocolatey. Chocolate. Yes, we're talking about paint taste. Because in this house, we lick brushes. <laughs> oh, nice. Yep, we lick brushes and we watch credits. Because we respect the people that work hard and we respect the tip. The tip of the brush. Phrasing.
We do tip our artists, it's true. <laughs> it's it's good people here. It's good people here for sure. Good humans, the lot of you. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that's enough of that. All right, so I guess the next question is... <sighs> do we want to do a weird color for the shoulders and shins? Yes, go forth. Feed the doggo. Yes. So, what color do we want to do? Uh, storm giant, right? Yeah, storm giant. I have, I have this <gasps> project. Poop. Storm giant by Wizkids. There was supposed to be a link in there, but apparently I didn't put it, so it's fine. Hmm. Well, so I don't think it'd be too extra. There are little swirly bits in there. So I think we could do like a dark blue to light blue metallic-y color and then really highlight the little swirly bits. If that's the route we want to do. Is that a route we... But... Sorry. Just over here. With the worst hiccups tonight. Me insane. Alright. So we'll do our dark gray blue. Faded Ultramarine. With alcohol inks. Yeah, I've I've seen that method being done before. Um I'm not sure what I'll do with it yet, but We'll do something cool with it. Actually, I already have white on here, so I'll just use that white. Um, yeah, so for this, I'm going to do pretty much what I did with the sword. Um, but I want to get... Yeah, that's usually what I end up doing, too, is using washes... So I'm going to do either side in the dark. And then right. We're leaving the center open. Then and take our faded ultramarine. Right? Is that what it's called? It's a Warhammer thing, right? And we're going to paint across the center. It's 
too wet. blend. I'm going to have to do another layer because it's just kind of all blending together instead of blending how I wanted it to, but should have let it dry. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we'll try again on this side. Let that dry this time. And for this other side, we will try and fill in some of these holes that are popping up where the paint is splitting. Don't touch it. Let it dry. Space. What's happening in space, Maya? Brighten these up a bit. The void beckons, it's true. Drink some water, friends. The void is spoken. How did I just keep pushing everything out? Yeah, the blade looks pretty good. It came out it came out all right. Grump face? Did I make a grump face? I was probably looking at something. That's what happens when I concentrate. Yeah, I just I just have that Kayla, it's natural. <laughs> oh my gosh.
going better this time. Oh, goodness. I like this faded ultramarine color. I'm not sure if I've ever used it before. Yeah. Uh-huh, that's the Sam. Sam yells. <laughs> nope, it's my cat. One of the many at the door, yelling. light blue going down the center Yep, Sam will yell at the door if it's closed, and he wants in, and then he will yell at all the other doors if they are also closed, because he needs to check them out, and then he will want to leave, but first he will shut the door on himself so that he cannot leave, and then he will yell at the door until you let him out. Shrimp cat stuff, yes. Yes, that's exactly what Sam has to do. Shrimp cat stuff. Well, he can do it elsewhere, because I'm not letting him in right now. Cats are something. <laughs> Sam is great. I love Sam. I love Sam very much. However, I'm not letting Sam in.
taking my dark blue and I'm lining under these little design patterns. Just to give some contrast to everything else going on up here. It's kind of a lot. Rude? Who's rude? Am I rude? For not letting Sam out? In? For not letting Sam in? I'm going to take this white. Just going to hit down the middle. On top of these designs. <laughs> okay, that's fine with me. I will be rude. I will be rude for that. I will let him in afterwards, but I'm not letting him in right now. Edges over here. Boop, boop, boop. This is not quite turning out the way I wanted it to. Hmm. You don't get to see. What don't you get to see? Sam? You want to see Sam? Oh my goodness. My goodness. Well, no, no Sam tonight. Maybe next time. Messed up. Happy accident. What happened? be a planet. It's a shadow of something. Something is coming. Something is nigh.
Who's Soundgarden? I listened to them the other day. I know that song. But I'm also old compared to these whippersnappers out here. <laughs> I wanna do. My age? Uh, that's funny, Mark. Sure. I enjoy aging. I can't wait to be old. It's going to be great. Oh, okay. So yeah, my is my age ish. I'll be, what, 32? 32, I think, in April. This isn't really going well. So, I think that's enough for tonight. Oh, it looks cool. It's just not quite what I wanted it to do. However, I think that's enough for now. But, so far, I think I like this guy. I might actually finish this one. No. Yeah. So, another time, we'll finish it. Maybe we'll, maybe I'll paint the rest of them, and then we'll work on some, um, some objects we're sliding. Let me see if I can get in close here. So yeah, next week is gaming. Uh, we're going to be playing Other Side. Well, I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be playing my own gaming stream. Woo, I'm nervous. It'll be great fun. Um, yeah, I'll be doing that next Wednesday, same time, around 8 o'clock, starting. Um, I wouldn't advise putting fingernail polish but they do make um clear polish i don't have any over here uh but like a clear varnish that you could put on top of it and make it shiny make it look wet almost yeah it's pretty cool um i also have a metallic based one you put over it, it makes it glittery yeah Right. Uh, nail polish would melt it, ruin the paint underneath because it's all water base, and the alcohol base would eat it. 
We don't want to eat it. We have better things to eat. Probably. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. We will teach you the ways. Um, but yeah, next week, next Wednesday, I will be gaming um, on here. And it'll be great fun. We'll be playing other side. It's creepy, spooky stuff. So I'll be sure to include some trigger warnings in there because there's some creepy topics and such. So, yeah. Other than that, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else going on. Um, yeah. Kayla's streaming tomorrow. So that'll be cool. And then those will come back next week, right? Not next week. Yeah, next week is March. Wow, next week is March. Oh, goodness. Ah. <sighs> Anyways, next Wednesday. Thank you all for coming. This was great fun. It always is. We'll, um... Yeah, I'll have to see if I can get them finished next time. Uh, for the next paint stream in two weeks. Uh, not this one's coming up Wednesday, but the Wednesday after. Otherwise, we'll... We'll paint something else. I don't know. So, yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you all. Have a good week. Bye.